Tommy in it, the 16 year old British YouTuber who took the world by storm and along with his success came his subtitles. So this is how to do them. Step 1, so of course you want to want to create projects, drag in your video or import it, um, make sure effects is on and panel group settings, stacked panel group is on just so you can see everything. Next go click this little text icon and roughly where you want to type it do that type the first two to three words you say wherever you want to display on screen the essential graphics and obviously just sort out the placement of your uh, well text step two is going to be fonts so you're going to want to head over to google and search a google fonts link will be in the description below now searching dosis D-O-S-I-S -S. click on it at the top right it says download family you should see a zip file download once that's downloaded open it click on static double click on dosis bold which is at the top and just click install it there click yes and now you can close this program and head back into premiere Right, now searching doses in the text box under essential graphics. Click on doses bold. And you should have the rough Tommy in it font. Now click on stroke, click the little checkbox to activate it. Set it to black or whatever color you want. And set the size to around 13 to 15. Step three is motion to get that little pop. So we're gonna use vector motion. You can use transform, but I don't suggest it. Deduct the original value by five and make sure you start the clip. And yeah, uh, click this little toggle animation stopwatch. Skip ahead two frames and add five back on to the scale value. Now you have this little pop effect and you're just going to want to organise all your text. Once it is lined up, you can render it and hopefully you've Tommy and subtitles. Do these look like Tommy and subtitles? I don't know, do they? Thank you. Goodbye.